a lot of Matthew's food was quite wet and you had to use a spatula to make sure they got every little bit of fat up and everything else. So when you're getting recipes through from the dietitian going, oh, this is a cake recipe and I'm a baker. I love cooking cakes and biscuits and baking and all that kind of stuff. And you kind of do it and it's like this flabby omelette type thing and you're like, that's not a cake. Um, it was very difficult you, because cooking and, and making Matthew's favourites was always the one thing I could do that he loved. So it's an important factor for parents when they, can, they consider the diet, and it certainly was for me. Emma was on the phone to us a lot, on the phone to a lot of my colleagues in medical and marketing and myself, I worked in research at the time, telling us what she was doing with the diet and, and feeding back to us and, and providing us with some of the recipes. I did muffins, pancakes for him, waffles, crackers, all the baked goods that kids like as a treat or things like that, I could get by using this powder product. So it was great. It revolutionised things for me and for Matthew. We have been able to, with Emma's permission obviously, share a lot of those um, applications and a lot of those recipes with um, parents uh, in other countries. So they've also helped other, other families. Matthew's friends and Nutricia have always had a good working relationship together. Matthew's friends obviously has developed more over the years. So whichever country we're in, obviously Nutricia, we're interested in the work they do as well because we know it benefits the children in the long run. Swimming is his favourite thing in the whole wide world. You can see his face light like when he goes in there. It's just a pleasure to be able to watch him enjoy something he loves so much. Family is probably one of the most important things for Matthew. Like he doesn't, he can't do a lot, but family he know like, he loves because he he, he recognises us and he he knows we're all there. We all love him, and when we're all smiling and laughing and chatting, especially when. There's food involved as well because Matthew and food is just match made in heaven. I love him. I love him to pieces and I'm pretty sure he loves me too. I get lots of smiles, um, cuddles on the couch. He's, he's my life and he's inspired me to do so much. Um, I don't know what I'd do without him to be honest. He's the best thing in my life. It's very difficult to sit here and put into words the massive change that it, it did, that it, it made. And there's not a day that doesn't go past where I don't thank God for the kitchen it died because I don't know where we would have been otherwise. I don't think Matthew would have been here. Mm -hmm.